Um, thanks everyone for coming. I'm going to get started. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this short. Uh, I had posted something the other day of a slide that I talked about in another um, elsewhere um, in a private session and a lot of people were interested in hearing more about it and I thought that uh, all right this um, would be oh, was a um, little technical difficulty anyway okay uh, thanks for coming and I want I'm going to talk about um, this idea of naive probabilism is a general general idea there's a lot of things that I can talk about um, on that but I'm going to keep it to one slide and then open it to questions so if you have any questions or comments please uh, please write them in the chat and uh, we'll see we'll see how this goes all right so the the, um, the key idea here is that so what is naive probabilism maybe I'll get that and in, get into that another time and I first I talked about this first back in the um, back around the time of the COVID outbreak because that was um, that was where this was a pretty prominent um, issue with the early response. Um, it's basically the theory. You know, it's the easy part of probability, the easy part of risk. It's it's what you it's what you learned in school. It's what um, this guy over here things that this guy knows pretty well. Um, but there's so much more to risk and uncertainty and probability, and that's what um, that's what this brief slide is all about, and that's what I want to talk about in context of. I think it's a good um, it's a good example. The ongoing events with GameStop uh, is pretty uh, pretty good illustration of this this idea. And of course, I'm not an expert in finance, but uh, so I don't really know much more. That I probably don't know what's going on any more than than a lot than the people listening are. But I um, it's interesting to think about and to look at from a bunch of different perspectives. So. The easy parts, the theory, the hard parts, the practice. So it's the difference between what you're taught in school and what you learn in the schoolyard. And then there's the even harder part of the psychology, how much you can actually handle, how much how much you can put up with. And then finally, the hardest part being the ethics of, you know, the kind of person that you really are. And in the context of the, um, the game stock run up, what does the theory tell us? The theory tells us information is priced in, that there's efficient markets, there's intrinsic value, there's fundamentals, and I don't necessarily dispute any of those things. And so the theory based on that, the theory tells us to, um, the theory tells us to short the stock, uh, but what's the practice? Well, the practice is that there's there's risk involved with shorting, there's, there's liquidity risk, there's just sentiment that, that might be out there that causes people to um, that causes people to um, do certain things, such as buy the stock, even if even if all of the uh, analysts say not to. And there, you know, these are people who are willing to and willing to monetize their beliefs, right? They're actually putting money where their mouth is, and there's there's really not, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do, even if if you if I believe and I'm and I'm right in some sense that the the stock is worthless. The theory is correct in some long run sense. The short run might not always um, behave accordingly. So there's a there, there that's that then leads us into the psychology of how much can, how much we can handle. That's the squeeze. So right now, or over the past several weeks, there's been a big squeeze, and then there's the choke, which was by uh, Robinhood yesterday. He certainly choked, and we'll see if that happens. Any we'll, we'll see if that happens. Uh, in the future, but we'll see how this thing actually gets handled. And then finally, the ethical part is, you know, the bailouts that people are asking for, the blame game of who's, whose fault it is, and the fix, the fix having to do with um, the Robin Hood um, shutdown yesterday, whether, regardless of what the reason actually was, it certainly looks bad. And it only play, it's, it, it just creates this feedback loop of who believes what, in terms of what's what's real, what's rigged, who's who's in charge, and so whether it's true or not, it doesn't really matter. I think it's just going to feed back into this, and I don't really have I don't really know where where it ends. But uh, that's all I have. Just a quick five minute overview of this of this idea. I can do it again um, sometime in another in another context. I can get deeper into any of these topics if there's interest. And of course, I can answer any questions um, if there are any. But otherwise, thanks for coming by, and uh, 
hope you like the idea. Hope you like the idea. Hope you like the format. And uh, any suggestions, let me know.